my goodness. You guys, look how cute it is. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. And he's in a little box with a little ribbon on top. I'm not sure if that's the best thing for a Pokemon. But Alola, everyone, and welcome back to Pokemon Moon. And I just jumped on to our mystery gift area to get the Munchlax that it is available to everybody who has the game. I think before January, as long as you go ahead and connect a uh, mystery gift through the internet before January, then you get a little Munchlax. So we got Munchlax and Snorlium Z. Thank you for playing Pokemon. Please pick up your gift from the delivery man in any Pokemon Center. All right, there we go. All right, Munchlax, the big eater Pokemon, evolve it into Snorlax and have it hold the Snorlinium Z that you received in the game to unleash pulverizing pancake. That sounds totally amazing. So we just received our mystery gift and it's an adorable little Munchlax and I've already got some names picked out for it. And let's go ahead and dive back in then. Oh, there's the beautiful cry of that bat. And we just discovered the Pokemon Center. So, all right, I should have, are you a delivery man? There should be a delivery man here who is going to give us uh, our new little Munchlax. And we've already got so many new Pokemon on our team too, you guys. We have Picky Peck, we have Kukui, our Rowlet. We have Slowpoke, who we just got last time. I, I like to imagine we've rescued him from having his poor tail. His poor tail gets turned into food. Isn't that horrible? So we rescued Sorlax. And then we also have a Wingle and they all need healed up. So let's go ahead and heal everybody up and I can't believe we've gotten such a huge team already we haven't even gotten to the school yet welcome to the Pokemon Center you're up late would you like to rest your Pokemon yes I would are you nurse joy I wonder if she still has nurse joy's name oh look at her hair that's so cool oh that's so awesome Thank you for waiting. We've restored your Pokemon to full health. We hope to see you again. Thank you so much. Oh, that's so awesome. All right, let's see. Is this the delivery man right here? Nope, I think I just activated the PC by accident. Okay. Wow. Look at all the boxes. We're going to have so many Pokemon. Oh, it brings back so many memories to see these box backgrounds. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, I don't want to put any of my Pokemon away just yet. And I know that the world Pokemon um, like storage account, which I've never used because that is before my or like after my time, actually, won't be available until January with Pokemon Moon. So no trading internationally, I think, until then or, or with the old games until then. You can have up to six Pokemon with you on your team when you're walking around. Catch any more than that and you should have them sent to your PC boxes. No problem, my friend. And then I want to find the delivery man so I can meet my little Munchlax. Are you a delivery man? Good night. <laughs> because it's night. You must be Siri. I got one mystery gift here with your name on it. Here you go. It looks like I have a Pokemon to give you. Would you like to take it off my hands? Yes, I would. We've got Munchlax, you guys. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's look, give a good look at this little Munchlax. Munchlax's data will be added to the Pokedex. It's so cute. I just want to give it all the little berries. Munchlax, registered. I wonder what our new friend Rotom thinks about having Pokemon registered. Hey, let's check out what kind of Pokemon it is. All right, that makes him happy. When it finds something that it likes, it might that might be edible. It goes right ahead and swallows it whole. That's why it gets fatter day by day. Oh, that's adorable. That's adorable. What's your cry sound like, little one? Oh gosh, it's so cute. And it's a little action. <gasps> you guys, it's just going to eat everything. I hope it wouldn't try to eat me out. Oh dear, that would be bad. Would you like to give Munchlax a nickname? Yes, I would. Is it a boy or a girl Munchlax? Let's see. It's a little boy. Okay, then we're actually going to give him the name. Dun dun dun. Gan on. Let's see. Uh, Ganlon. There we go. And that is actually after the Ganlon berry. I thought it would be fun to give him a name after a berry. There we go. Ganlon. The Ganlon berry is one that the Pokemon can hold and it will increase their defense stat if they kind of are in a pinch, as it said. So I thought that was a really fun name for him. It's secretly also after Ganon from Zelda, but we'll not talk about that yet. This gift was actually a kind of set. It came with the Snolorium Z here, and now it's yours. Yay, all right, we got the Snolorium Z. We look forward to serving you again. All right, thank you so much, Mr. Delivery Man. And then what about my new Pokemon? And it's nature and everything. Ganlon, let's learn a little bit about you, buddy. I have so many new Pokemon that I need to take. Okay, he has Metronome. 
the user waggles a finger and stimulates its brain into randomly using any nearby move. Oh, that sounds really cool, actually. Hold back. The user holds back when it attacks, and the target is left with at least one, one HP. That sounds amazing for being able to catch Pokemon that I really want. Happy Hour. Using Happy Hour doubles the amount of prize money received after a battle. Oh my gosh. This is kind of an amazing Pokemon. This is Ganlon. Holy moly days. Oh, look at his little mouth. He's so cute. And let's see, he's got a classic ribbon, a ribbon that proclaims love for Pokemon. So he's already got a ribbon and he has a careful nature and takes plenty of siestas. So we basically have so many snoozy Pokemon. We have the sleeping Pokemon team, <laughs> like Wingle and, and Pikapek. And even Pikapek likes to take snoozes. Oh, that's hilarious. All right, so we already talked to Nurse Joy. Let's come over and talk to the cafe manager. Welcome to the Pokemon Center Cafe. The time in Alola is now two o'clock. Here in our cafe place or space, we provide a moment of peace to our customers. Oh, you've given your Pokemon five Poke Beans. Poke Beans make Pokemon happy. I think I'll give you a present. Oh, rare candy, thank you. All right, I'll just tuck that aside. Try giving your Pokemon some Poke Beans when your island challenge gets rough. What, uh, what can I get started for you today? Oh, can I get, oh, pineapple juice. Pineapple juice sounds delicious. A pineapple juice. Um, wow, I have a lot of money. <laughs> like, my mom gave me pocket money, and apparently we're very rich. Sure, I'm gonna go ahead and splurge on a pineapple juice. Got it. Then if you give me just a moment. Am I just... What does it do? Here you are. One pineapple juice, just for you. Please enjoy the harmonious tones of sweet and sour that can only be performed by pineapple grown under the Alolan sun. Each day the sun rises, filling the world with light. Oh wow, this is like a really serious little cup of pineapple juice. Each of us grows big and strong, bathing in the light so bright. Each night the moon rises and quietly shines down. Each of us wrapped in peaceful silence, not one heart with a frown. Oh! I wrote that poem myself. We take for granted that the sun and the moon keep shining down on us, but we shouldn't be for uh, we shouldn't forget to be grateful. This is actually totally my style. You're limited to one per day, but have a tea biscuit on us. This candy bar is a specialty from the Mahogany Town in the Johto region. A rage candy bar? What? What does a rage candy bar do? That's so cool. I got a poem. I got pineapple juice and I got a candy bar. We'd like to offer you your Pokemon something on the house. And poke beans? Poke beans are a specialty in Alola and Pokemon love to eat them. Feed them to your Pokemon in Pokemon Refresh, and they'll become more affectionate. Please come visit us again soon. Wow, that was so cool, you guys. I got so much stuff just for just for showing up. Oh, my goodness. And let's see, Pokemon Refresh. Is there some way I... I can't remember if there's... Oh, there it is! Wow, I have so much stuff in my bag. Oh, Picky Peck, how are you? I don't think I've... Oh, look, and we're inside. Oh, I'm sorry, Picky Peck. Oh, he pecked at me. What about right here? Oh, is that better? Oh, you're so cute. Picky Peck is the first Pokemon we have in the lineup right now because we're trying to help him grow. There you go. Is that good? Yeah. All right, good. So he seems to enjoy that. And let's go ahead and feed him. Oh, wow, we've got a lot of these blueberries now. Would you like a bean? He's kind of trying it out. Oh, it's just like feeding the birds in my bird feeder. That's so awesome. There you go, Picky Peck. All right, so it looks like the Pokemon that you take out for Pokemon Refresh is going to be the first one you have in your lineup. We have battle video? What? What are all these things? A verse, uh, VS Recorder is a device that allows you to record battles, such as Link Battles and battles at the... Oh, well, you know what? I'm actually doing pretty good recording my stuff right now anyway. Took a modified DS to do it, but it's working. The QR scanner. Why do I have a QR scanner for this? Um... I'll worry about that later. Oh my gosh, I'm looking at my keyboard. Okay, I wonder why you would want a QR scanner. There's so many things to discover. Festival Plaza. Okay, what the heck, a festival? Mom didn't say anything about a festival. Rhoda, where am I? Help, help, help. I've been abducted. Help. Welcome to the Festival Plaza. I'm Sophocles. Where am I? I have been abducted. <laughs> I need my mom. <laughs> What's happening? It's a secret place where you can come to play using communication features. We hold a festival where trainers can interact right now. We need someone to welcome those who have come here to play. Um, I'm good. You kind of seem like someone who will play a lot using the communication features. There's something you can do for me. Help me liven up this festival. Uh, 
Uh, okay, but I really want to go back. I have to get to the Pokemon school. I did not mean to do this. Can I please go home? Okay, so you gotta help me out right away. Someone has come to play now, right? Go have a chat with them. Um, okay, can I please go home? <laughs> I didn't mean to do this. Oh, what have I gotten myself into? Oh, I love how they do the Alola sign. I came here today because I heard that there's a festival going on and many trainers here. You're the host, aren't you? Do you know what to do when you see visitors? I have no idea. Nothing difficult. Just do what you just did. Speak to visitors and answer their questions or respond to them. They'll give you something as thanks. Like this. Please take it. FC. Festival coins? Please speak to the visitors. I hope you'll boost the mood of the festival. How do I get home? How do I get home? I, I just talked to him again. Help. Help. I wanted. I didn't want to be here. <laughs> well, I hope I taught you guys a lesson. Don't click weird buttons unless you want something to happen. Can I please go home? You crushed it. If you respond to the request of someone who comes here to play, they'll give you festival coins as a token of their appreciation. Festival coins are sometimes called FC, so try to remember that. You can use FC at the facilities here in the Festival Plaza. Oh, right. I better tell you about the facilities in the Festival Plaza. Can you please tell me how to get home? <laughs> I've been kidnapped. <laughs> Help. At the lottery shop, you can get a most excellent prize if you win. At the bouncy house, your Pokemon can train while it plays. Okay, this is kind of cool, though. What's happening here? At the haunted house, you can get items if your Pokemon reaches the goal. Oh my gosh. Is this like a place where at the dye house, they can change the color of your fashion items? What? Is this like a place where I can just bring my Pokemon to play? Like, we can just imagine there's a festival always going on in town that I can go to with my Pokemon. This is kind of amazing, even though I didn't mean to be doing this right now. There are still a bunch of other facilities that you can look forward to. Oh, look, there's new spots. Can I please go home? Please? Oh, look, they have hibiscuses on their shirts. Once again, people have come to play. Respond to their request, and they'll give you festival coins. Okay, this is awesome and everything, but I really want to go home. What if I do this? Nope, that didn't do anything. What if I... Okay, I guess I have to do this. Sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. I did not mean to do this. Do you know how to find people who want you to listen to their stories? Listen to their whispers? What? What? Please think again carefully. Listen, listen. Um... Let's see. Oh, the whispers! Like when somebody said, listen, listen. Impressive. Please take this as a token of my thanks. Alright. When you get close to visitors, you'll notice that they are whispering. Listen to their whispers carefully and find people who have a favor to ask you. Um... Listen. Okay. Hello! Do you know how to invite people to your festival plaza? I don't know. What? Think again carefully. Okay, communicate. Communicate. I've got it. I've got it. Thank you. I'm lying. Great. Please take this as a token of thanks. So I have to communicate to invite people to my festival plaza. The rank of my plaza went up to two. Help. Sophocles is happy. Will he let me go home now? Will I be released? Play a lot using communication features to invite a lot of people. People near you can come via wireless connection and people far away come via the internet. Wonderful. Wonderful. Can I please go home? <laughs> please. You crushed it. If you get lots of festival coins, that means you've livened things up by entertaining those who have come to play, so your festival rank will go up. Alright, let me give you this reward as the thanks for raising the rank. A new place? Is it a way I can get home? It's run by a veteran. It's a die house, Team Yellow. Wait, what now? Team Yellow Star came to your festival plaza. Oh my goodness. This is amazing, but I want to go back home. <laughs> Whenever your festival plaza rank goes up, I'll give you a cool reward. Respond to requests and get lots of festival coins. So I guess you come and... Oh yeah, and in the... inside the castle are staff who are willing to help you. Check it out later. Can I go home? When you're in the festival plaza, you can connect with other players via the wireless communication or the internet. I'll set everything up, so give it a try. Sorry, I've got something to do right now, but the festival plaza is in your hands. That's really nice. Can I please... Okay... Lower screen, okay. Battle or trade? Uh, yes, I want to go back home. <laughs> home! Home! I would love to go home. <gasps> okay, so we'll have to remember that, you guys. The festival plaza seems very interesting, but I feel like I was just like, I like something in that pineapple juice sucked me into some sort of really mysterious other world, and I'm a little shaky on my feet now. All right, back, back to talking. Yeah, thank you. If you use the communication features, I'll be abducted into a mysterious nether realm full of festivities. Uh, uh, okay, resuming. Uh, Pokemon with a friend. You'll be happy. It basically doubles your happiness. 
Now, one day I may do some trades. That would be fun. I'm breeding up grass-type Pokemon and giving them away. Hello, sir. Any Pokemon trainer in the world can have their Pokemon healed or use the PC here for free. Well, I wonder who pays for it. That's pretty awesome. Is it in part of our taxes? That's cool. I love this little fountain full of flowers. And who's this kid? You can buy things and sell things at the Pokemart. I feel better with a bag full of plenty of potions and Pokeballs. What about you? I sure do. And what does he have to sell? Welcome to the Pokemart. How may I help you? Well, let me see what I've got. Mm, Pokeball, potions, antidotes. Oh, I have an escape. Oh, wait. He's got an escape rope. Okay. I gotcha. I gotcha. Um, actually, I do want to buy some Pokeballs now that I think about it. Um, let's go with... I have eight. So let's go ahead and just get 12 more. There we go. Seems like a smart thing to have at least 20. Wait, wait, wait. There's a Premier Ball now? Did I unlock the Premier Ball? I, I wasn't paying attention. And if I tried to sell things, I just want to see what I have. Awakening Rare Candy Rage. Mahogany Town's famous candy. It can be used at once. To, uh, it can be used once to heal all the status conditions of a Pokemon. Gotcha. Oh, and I got a free Premier Ball. A somewhat rare Pokeball that was made as a commemorative event to celebrate an event of some sort. Hmm. Z-Ring and the Snorlonium Z. It converts Z-Power into crystals that upgrade Snorlax's Giga Impact to an exclusive Z-Move. The Pancake Move. The Pulverizing Pancake. That sounds pretty awesome. We should raise up our little Snorlax. No thanks. We should raise up uh, <laughs> Ganlon so that hopefully he'll be able to do the Pulverizing Pancake Move. All right, we're out of here. That took a very odd turn when I got stuck in the Festival Realm, but at least I know about it now. That might be fun to do that someday. The school! Lily! Sorry it took so long. Uh, long story about some pineapple juice. Here we are. You see, the trainer school is... It's a... What in the world? Oh, is this... Oh, it's the Taurus again! Well, it looks like we won't be going that way anytime soon, thanks to the Taurus there. But we were only planning on going as far as the trainer school anyway. We'll just leave that for someone else to deal with. Come, follow me. <laughs> Lily! I love how the moonlight seems to kind of glow off of her hat, too. That's very cool. So, is the trainer school where trainers go to learn, or do trainers do the teaching? <laughs> Rodham, he says the most random things. It's very interesting. Oh, is this my new teacher? Hey there, Siri. I must have passed you two somehow, yeah? But welcome to the trainer school, the place to learn how to be a Pokemon trainer. Oh, this is so cool! My mom must be really rich to get me in here. <laughs> Professor Kukui, is this the child you told me about? Yeah, put her for the put her through the ringer, teach. Four traders. <laughs> yeah, I love how he's pointing out that. That's so awesome. You've got to beat four Pokemon trainers here at the school, Siri. He likes the number four a lot. The experience will surely help you and your Pokemon grow stronger. Yeah. Actually, speaking of experience, why don't you take this? Let me see. Oh, oh, already I get the experience share. That's amazing. If you keep that experience share on, yeah, all the Pokemon on your team can get experience points from battle. All of them on my team? The trainers who will take part in this lesson may be inside or outside the school. You may also want to visit our classrooms. You'll be sure to learn a lot. All right, let the lesson begin. Oh, that's so cool. So we're just going to do some like random battling, I suppose. She may not look all that tough, but that teach trains her kids right. One of her students is even a captain. If you want a bit of advice from me, here's something that might help. Once you've fought a species of Pokemon once, you can easily see what types of moves will work best on it in your next battle. Wondering, wandering about the tall grass to meet lots of different Pokemon will help with that. Battle all the time! Oh yeah! <laughs> I wonder how Lily thinks of that. Find those four Pokemon trainers. You'll find them, battle them, you beat them! Interesting, Lily? You can tell me anything that you want your... Uh, you can tell me any time that you want your team's health restored, and I'll help you. Seeing a Pokemon in pain makes my own heart seem to ache. Oh, I understand, Lily. Professor? All right. So, yes, he's just going to tell us to keep battling. It must be really hard for Lily to be his assistant since he likes to battle all of the time. So, we might want to rearrange our Pokemon then. Whoops, didn't mean to open up the Pokedex. Sorry about that. Rotom, hi! He's pretty excitable. And that's so weird to think that he's a Pokemon in himself. All right, so we might move things around. I feel like Picky Peck might want a chance to come out. And Ganlon, so everybody is going to level up, though, when we level up. Um, and if that's going to be the case, well, let's give Picky Peck a chance. Because I feel like Picky Peck needs to have a chance, even though I really want to play with Kukui some more. So we'll give Picky Peck one chance. All right, hello? 
You want to know why I'm standing here? Because I'm the strongest, that's why. I won't even bother battling you unless you can beat everyone else here. Oh, well, okay, I see how it is then. Oh, oh, look, there's a thing right down here. Wow, there's just Pokeballs laying all over the place. People are pretty awesome, just leaving potions. I think we got some other things exploring over here too. Oh, hello. So we need to wander around the whole school. Hi, how are you doing? I'll teach you the tactics that I learned here at school by beating you with them. Oh, there's a lot of sassy kids on this island, all right. All right, let's see what he's got. Youngster Joey, I love his little Pokeball necklace. That's so cool. Oh, a Metapod, huh? Well, sorry for you, Kidlet. I've got some flying types on me. <laughs> All right, Picky Peck, I think you can handle this one. Like, you are literally a woodpecker type Pokemon. This is a Metapod. I can't think of a better lineup of just what you represent. There we go, super effective. Ooh, this is a sassy Metapod. But Picky Peck will be able to do this all by himself, so this should really help out. I don't think Joey's actually one of the trainers that has to do with the challenge, though. Sorry, Metapod. <laughs> I'm kind of- I do understand where Lily's come from, because I do feel a little bit guilty when uh, those kinds of things happen, when you're watching the Pokemon faint. Echoed voice, huh? But this is just the way that, that life works here. Alright, and the experience share also gains some stuff. Hmm. Hmm, you guys. Do I want that? Or do I want to focus on, like, specific Pokemon? Poisoning an opponent will slowly drain its HP. Paralyzing them can prevent its attacks. Pokemon moves can have all kinds of effects, so watch out for them. You know, I wonder if Professor Kikiru has ever gone ahead and let himself be poisoned. That doesn't sound very smart, but that sounds like something he might try to do. So, um, I hope that's not going to hold Picky Peck back if the experience share is active. Let me see if I can, I guess if you always have it, then it's on. Um, let's see, experience share, right here. Turning on this special device will allow Pokemon on your team to receive experience points from battles. So how do I turn it off? Ah, there you go. So you can go ahead and you can turn it off if you want to. Um, do I wanna do that? Let's, let's go ahead and turn it off and let's see what happens if Picky Peck just battles on his own on this next one. Cause I wanna see if he's gonna level up pretty quickly. And I saw another Pokeball over here. Oh, there's another one over there too. They're just leaving like treats all over the place. Maybe they do that on purpose to encourage the trainers to like go through the, <gasps> um, what, what, it, what? What are you doing over here? <gasps> Magnemite, um. I don't know about this picky peck. I, what doesn't what does echoed voice do actually? The user attacks the target with an echoing voice. If this move is used every turn, its power increases. You know what? Let's try it out. I just want to see what happens. Maybe we can like upset his magnetic waves somehow. Oh, mag magnet bomb already! No picky peck, hang in there. It didn't do like anything. Okay, picky peck, we probably need to swap you out. I don't know if I want to keep a Magnemite. Um, let's get Kukui out and see if Kukui can do anything. Maybe not. But I definitely don't want to put my water types out. <laughs> Alright, hang in there, Kukui. Oh, Thundershock, I don't know about this. Oh, okay, that wasn't as bad as I was worried it would be. Um, and then what was Astonish again? Attacks shouting in a startling fashion. This may make the target flinch. Or we could just try straight up Tackle. Power is a little bit stronger on that, or straight up peck. Power is a little bit stronger on that too. Um, what would happen if we used a peck on it? I need to learn about the Pokemon type advantages again. And yes, I know there's charts. Okay, very ineffective. I think that was worth learning. All right, and his tackle isn't that effective either. I guess they don't have a gender though. So what would Astonish do? All right, what do you think, Kui? Oh, that was so cute! It was a cute move, even if it didn't do much. Oh, hang in there, Kukui! Hang in there! Okay, what if I use Leafage? I have no idea how that'll work out. We're gonna try a whole bunch of moves. This is really not effective! Kukui, I am so sorry, Kukui, hang in there. Hang in there, buddy. What if I just do, do a normal tackle? This is a really saucy Magnemite. Oh my gosh! Everything is ineffective. <laughs> Everything just isn't working. Um, Kakui, should we run from this? I don't want to use a potion just on this. Okay, let's just get out of here. Come on, Kakui. There we go. 
we're just gonna get out of there. So I don't really have my my two main ones I'm working with aren't really very good at fighting against against the uh, electric types. So I'll have to remember that. All right, let's get over here. An antidote, wonderful, and a paralyzed hill, good. And let's go see. I don't think we that this kid actually was one of the main people we we're supposed to fight, perhaps. But it did say run into four trainers. So does this guy have anything to say about that? Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so we've got to be everybody else in the school before he'll even talk to us. And let's come talk to Lily. Lily, could you help? Let me take care of poor Picky Peck, okay? I hope she took care of uh, Kikui as well. Try not to push your Pokemon too hard. I mean, if you don't mind. Oh, she's so sweet. Let's learn and grow. Let's grow and train. Unsullied, enjoyable, and academic. Everyone starts at the beginning. Oh, I really like that. Everybody is like really nice here. Oh, there's another free thing. Yes. They might really, if I was the like principal of the school, I would sprinkle those things around just so that kids had the opportunity to try to go into the grasses and look around and use their curiosity to discover things. Oh, are we going to have a battle? I've been waiting for you here because the teacher told me to. If you beat my Pokemon, I'll give you a simple but very important lesson. On at last. Because I think this is one of the lasses. Ah, <laughs> she's so cool. Oh no, she's youth athlete, Hiromi. That's neat. All right. Oh, and she sent out a picky pack. It has a really cool Pokeball. Let's see if we can get our picky pack out. Which picky pack is going to be the strongest? I think it's probably just... Oh, the her picky pack is the strongest. <laughs> um, Really, peck would be effective. I don't know about that. Echoed voice. Um, let's try echoed voice. Oh, we're both gonna use echoed voice. It's just gonna, is this just going to be like an, no! Holy moly, that was strong! I didn't expect that kind of reaction. And ours was not as strong as hers. Okay, um. Picky pack, hang in there. Let's use echoed voice again. And then I'll try swapping out. Oh, oh no! Picky pack! I'm so sorry! Oh, I did not mean for that to happen. I wonder if Ganlon can do anything. Ganlon, come on out and let's see what you can do, my friend. Because you've got a few interesting moves. He's he's pretty cute, too. All right, what are we going to do with you? Um, I'm trying to remember. Happy hour. Nope, we don't want happy hour. And hold back. No, I didn't mean to use hold back. <laughs> I was trying to click on the information about it. Hey, that's a really... What is... Ooh! That was a little bit more interesting than I expected. But the problem is, her next attack is going to be really intense. Um... Oh, man. We should probably work on training some of our Pokemon up. There we go. And probably getting a bigger variety of types. Because I kind of have a snoozy, flying, water uh, team for the most part. Alright, that was a growl. And apparently the flying type stuff, not very effective. Let's use Peck. The flying type stuff seems to be effective even against other flying, which is interesting. All right, there we go. Hang in there, Kukui. Don't go down with the echoed voice. We've got this. And there we go. That was a little bit tougher than I expected, so we should probably train up as well. But I really want to see what else there is out there in the world, too. So we'll focus on trying to accomplish this. And then, oh, Ganlon just grew up to level 6. Yay! Oh, that's game and set, isn't it? All right, we got a little bit of prize money. So yeah, we'll focus on getting through the school, and then we'll focus on spending some time training. Some nice, relaxing training days from time to time. All right, thank you so much. If you ever want you to be a Pokemon champion, then that's totally basic. You got that? Thank you. So she was just telling us about using items. I feel so bad for Picky Pack. All right, sorry, Lily. I, I, I definitely am poor Rowlet, is it now? What about poor Picky Pack? All right, I'm sorry. I'll try not to push them quite as hard. But all right, you guys. So we're going to go into the school. And we're going to see, <gasps> look at the Alolan Meowth. Oh, this school is so cool. Who are you? Look at your Pokemon. Whether it has claws or not now, it would probably get a kick out of this one. Uh, oh, a quick claw. That's so cool. In Pokemon battles, the Pokemon with the highest speed stat gets to act first. But with a quick claw, your Pokemon should be able to attack first, regardless of speed. 
Or sometimes, anyway, it's better than nothing. <gasps> That's so awesome. All right, thank you, random person. And look at this. There's all of these kids here. This is so cool. All right, so we're going to investigate the school, roam around, and we will try to complete whatever we're supposed to be doing here. And then I'm definitely learning that we need to spend a little bit of time kind of leveling everybody up. But I really want to start exploring more of the areas so that we can get more types of Pokemon as well. So it's all just part of the journey. <sighs> all right. Well, Alola, everybody, I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.